NFL training camp starts in July, and SNY has a series of articles on which Giants and Jets players are entering a make or break season. SNY editorial producer Scott Thompson is back with us today, and we're going to focus on the J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. Don't tell Giants fans I did that. All right. He's in the second year of a three year, $45 million deal. You got Corey Davis on the board. Why? So, Corey Davis, you just mentioned that, that $45 million contract. Yep. $27 million of that is guaranteed this year. After that, the Jets can save some cap space. $10.5 million to be exact there. So, not only is that going to be an issue, but also we know Garrett Wilson coming in 10th overall pick. You have Elijah Moore and Braxton Berrio signed mm -hmm. another deal as well in free agency. You have Jeff Smith. You have Denzel Mims. There's a lot of guys that are vying for some playing time there. And I got to point out, though, with Corey Davis, he really said that he didn't have time to really reflect on his brother's passing in 2020. He went through the core muscle injury that really he tried fighting through all last season, couldn't really get through it, had the surgery. He had some time to reflect this offseason, and he told reporters, I feel great mentally, I feel great physically. I'm looking for him to not only just be big brother, with that Jets receiving core, but he's going to really try to fight for that spot because he knows he needs to stay here if he wants that extra money next year. Yeah, to whom much is given, much is required, and they are going to require him to have a big year if he wants to get paid in the future and stick around uh, and, and be a Jet. All right, he started a career-high 13 games last season. The man's got a lot of upside and a lot of potential. Linebacker Quincy Williams why is he on the board? Well, first things first, you love playing with your brother, right? The, the younger brother of Quinn and Williams. Quincy Williams really came out and had 110 combined tackles, nine tackles for loss. That's a high on the Jets. That's something that they didn't really see in Jacksonville, but the Jets came through. They got him in the building. It's just going to come down to consistency with Quincy, Quincy Williams. Had some missed assignments. He was trying to jump gaps before guys were really trying to come in there. Um, before the ball was even snapped. So can Quincy Williams have some consistency, stay next to C.J. Mosley? They worked well together, but we got to point out, Quan Alexander is someone that's been on the Jets' radar for quite some time. If he comes in, will Quincy Williams' playing time get uh, hit a little bit? We'll see. But Quincy Williams, very good player, and I think that you know, with him, the upside is definitely high, like you said. All right, so in your opinion, out of these two guys, who's making it, who's breaking it? I think making it is going to be Quincy Williams. Ooh, Corey Davis okay. is the guy, you know, fifth overall pick. You think he's going to be someone that's going to take over a receiving core. That's what the Jets hope for. But when you have Garrett Wilson coming in here, it's hard. And Elijah Moore really found some chemistry with Zach Wilson. Yep. So I think that it's going to be Corey Davis breaking it, unfortunately. That, that cap hit of $10.5 next year, you'd love to save that and help out in different areas. But Quincy Williams has the upside. He's a player that really wants to continue playing with his, <laughs> with his brother as yeah. well. But C.J. Mosley and him, they're a great dynamic duo up front. And you know Robert Sala loves his defense. Yeah, Quincy is in the last year of his rookie year contract. So if you want to get paid, you better stay in whatever gap they tell you to stay into. So you guys can head on over to SNY.TV to check out the Make or Break Season Series for all your Giants and Jets players. Hey, thanks for joining us, my man. Absolutely.